The forward stroke is the single most important stroke and often the least understood. Since 99% of touring involves forward paddling, we're going to take a good look at it and how you can make yours the most efficient. The bottom line is that any forward stroke that gets your kayak moving is just fine. But by improving your forward stroke, you'll be able to paddle longer, harder, and more comfortably. We're going to look at the forward stroke in three parts. The catch, the rotation, and the exit. The catch is the part of the stroke where you place your paddle blade in the water. Sitting up straight with a relaxed grip on your paddle, reach to your toes and plant your blade fully in the water. This reaching doesn't just involve your arms. It involves your arms, your shoulders, and your whole upper body. This upper body reach causes you to rotate your upper torso, or wind up your body, which as you already know, lets you get the most power for your strokes. With your body wound up, Plant your blade in the water so that it's completely submerged. Once planted, you'll pull on your paddle and unwind your upper body to drive your boat forward. One of the most common mistakes is pulling on the forward stroke before the blade is fully planted. It causes a lot of splashing and wastes energy. Imagine that you're planting your paddle in cement when you take a stroke. The paddle shouldn't really move anywhere once it's planted. Instead, you're pulling yourself past the paddle. The only way this will work is if you have fully and securely planted your whole blade in the water. Your body's like an elastic band, and then once it's wound up, you'll have a lot of potential energy at your hands. Rotation refers to the way that you'll use this energy to power your forward stroke. As we just looked at, your body should be wound up and your paddle firmly planted during the catch phase. You'll now pull on your paddle and drive your kayak forward using as much of your large torso muscles as possible. Your arms are really only a supplement to your forward stroke. The real power comes from your stomach and side muscles. To test this theory, try paddling forward with your arms locked straight. It may not be comfortable to paddle like this, but you can really get your boat moving, and it forces you to use just the power you get from your body's rotation. Now that you're using your most powerful muscles, let's take a quick look at what the rest of your body will be doing. Your elbows should be bent and should stay low, and although your arms are certainly involved with your forward stroke, their range of motion is actually quite small, since your torso will be doing the bulk of the work. Notice that I'm not punching or pulling with my arms. My elbows are actually staying in a relatively fixed position, which forces me to pull the paddle through with my core muscles. As a general rule, the more vertical your paddle shaft is while taking a forward stroke, the more forward power you're getting from it. To get your paddle more vertical, you'll bring your top hand higher and further across your boat. These aggressive forward strokes are great strokes when you're in a hurry, but they're also very tiring. If you're doing a long day of paddling where endurance is most important, you'll want to drop your top hand to shoulder or chest level. This less aggressive stroke is commonly referred to as a low angle forward stroke. Even though your upper body does the bulk of the work, your legs can also get involved by pushing off the foot peg on the side of the kayak that you're taking a stroke on. The exit is the point at which your forward stroke ends and the blade gets removed from the water. When taking aggressive forward strokes, your blade should exit at your hip, which is earlier than most paddlers expect or practice. For the low angle touring stroke, your paddle can sweep a slightly longer path behind your hip. Keep your stroke short and sweet. When your stroke reaches its end, slice the blade up and out of the water and get ready for your next stroke. Your body should already be wound up and ready for the next blade to get planted. If you're using a paddle with feather, you'll need to rotate your control hand so the next blade plants squarely in the water. Remember to keep a light grip on your paddle through these motions. A death grip will tire your arms out quickly and will often lead to tendonitis in your wrist or elbow. Now that you have all the pieces for an efficient and powerful forward stroke, try to put them all together as smoothly as possible while keeping your boat as quiet as possible. A quiet boat has minimal bob from side to side or up and down and will let your boat glide through the water the most effortlessly. Once you're comfortable with your forward stroke, a great thing to practice is paddling forward with your boat held on a steady edge. When trying this, you'll quickly discover that your kayak turns away from the direction that you're tilting your boat. The more you tilt your kayak, the more aggressively your kayak will turn. Learning to steer your boat with edging is a great skill to have. It'll let you make small corrections while forward paddling, It'll help you deal with wind and current that makes staying on track more difficult, which we'll be looking at in more depth a bit later on. 
A great drill for improving your balance and edge control is to paddle in a straight line, switching from one edge to the other after about 10 strokes.